Kids everywhere are running to the breakfast table. Happy little wheat birthday, squares. Mark Hamill! Your child Ugh. will eat every bite it, of Mark? those crunchy yummies. It's time for you to be a jelly and save Princess Leia from Darth Vader. Bye! What the hell? Where am I? Why are there two sunsets? Hello there. Ah! Who are you? My name is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Princess Leia has been captured. Um, who's Princess Leia? Ah, too! Help me, Luke. You are my only hope. Oh no, she's hot! Let's go! <laughs> Okay. Alright, so where you wanna go? I know, let's go to Alderaan! Okay. Well then, let's go to this moon! That's no moon! It's a- Spaceship. Okay, I wonder where that girl is. Oh yeah? Disable the tractor beam. Over to Leia. I got you. Huh? Hi, my name is Luke Skywalker. Well, everyone's here. Wait, where's Obi Wan? I'm sure I'll be fine. Person, I want this Death Star destroyed. Oh yes, sir. All right, let's blow this thing and what the. Goodbye, son. Wait, what? <laughs> oh crap, we're not at that movie yet. Well, you just spoiled it. So anyway, you are not going to destroy that Death Star once I go ludicrous speed. <laughs> Ha, that was easy. So, use the horse. Whatever, I don't need you anymore. Hey, thanks. And one more thing. You marry me? Ew! Get away from me, you moron! <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, TA hundred! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, TA hundred! Oh! <laughs> He's in a pineapple head. SpongeBob SquarePants! He's just a sponge, so he doesn't do that! But scientists made of time! He has a rabbit wheel of the top of the Much to make his dismay! And stop asking questions, or we can get you! SpongeBob SquarePants! Ready, yeah. this is the pain! Congratulations! You just won yourself one million dollars! What? Really? Yes! For having the most popular cartoon ever! Really? Wow! Thank you! Sports for Sports for <laughs> Wake up, boy! You're burning me money! Ah! Mr. Krabs! What do we do? Here, use this! <laughs> Whoa!
SpongeBob, come into me office. Kilimanjaro. What's wrong, boy? Well, I... This is the fifth time I've had to scrape you off, son. Mr. Krabs, I've been thinking... We need to get you forget about work. You know, Mr. Krabs, have you ever thought of a way to become famous? Well, you're already a very popular cartoon. Yeah, but Tom and Jerry is an even more popular cartoon than any other cartoon. I am very popular, but is there a way to beat the fan mouse? Well, there is one way. All you need to do is... Behold the woolly panda. It is plump and round. The nearby sound of a throttling chainsaw frightens him. Eek, eek. Says the panda. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Just get back to work. Huh? <sighs> huh? Hello? Congratulations! You just won yourself one million dollars! What? Really? Yes! For having the most popular cartoon ever! Really? Wow! Thank you! I guess my dream has come true. Oh, you wanna know what is not a dream? And my name is... Farmer Stinky Thumbs Arbuckle. <laughs> Take that, fatty. <sighs> you know, Nicktoons was a popular series of shows that aired on the Nickelodeon channel. I mean, we got classics like my series, The Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom, and The Last Airbender, but it starts to stop when most of the shows are ending, or they have bad seasons. I mean, does The Fairly Odd Parents even need a dog that's a mix between Scrappy and Poochie? But if Mr. Krabs won't help me, and there is one other character from a show on this channel that has a huge fan base that will help me. Lincoln, come in. <sighs> Wrong number, sorry. <sighs> hey, SB! Hey, Lincoln, how's your show doing? Well, my fifth season's doing okay. Cool. Yeah, that's what happens when you become a long runner. You have tons of fans and people watching the show. Oh, uh, SpongeBob? Do I hear Phineas and Ferb playing outside Bikini Bottom? Uh, what are you talking about? What? Oh. I'm Phineas and this is Ferb and we're gonna sing a song. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. That's what my baby says. Bow, bow, bow. And my heart starts pumping. Chicka, chicka, chew up. Never gonna stop. Get you, get you, goo means that I love you. I Oh, a show from a rival company playing on my show, I see. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, ow, that really hurts. Huh? Okay, why is everyone laughing? Hey, stop laughing at us. Well, that's what happens when you try to make a show popular. You go against the rival company. <sighs> Maybe next I should add Steven Universe and the Crystal Gems. Oh, <laughs> huh? What's going on here? Congratulations, Mr. Squarepants. You just fell for my prank and won yourself five months suspension at Mrs. Puff's Boeing School. There's no such thing as Phineas and Ferb sing-along fest. Hey, you used us, Skinner! You used us! Oh, well, I'm really sorry. Don't apologize! Words don't come easy to me. This is the- Dude, I'm trying to listen to F.R. David! Hey, Luna, you can keep playing, but I have an idea. Oh, cool, bro. I'll see you there. Okay, I think we should play a game. Sure. How about we play a game called Call Poppy? How about some lacrosse? Maybe a seance to bring your great grandfather back to life? No, I was thinking about playing this game called Red versus Blue. Lincoln, nobody's wearing a red shirt. No, I mean red. That means Reliable excavation and demolition. And blue means Builders League United. There's no E at the end. Uh. Lincoln, are you crazy? We just got banned from playing Team Fortress 2. Yeah, if we play it again, we get in huge trouble. Actually, just so our parents won't know us, we're going to be playing Loud Fortress 2. Ooh! Oh, I like 
the sound of that. I guess those reds are feeling blue. <laughs> Get it? So, without further ado, let's play. No! What happened? I am not done with you yet. Now I am done. Thanks, mate. Garbage day. Don't you wish one day you could like wake up and become He-Man and walk up to your bus driver and do this? Man, that principal. I was this close to getting my driver's license. Now I'm sure the popularity of my show is starting to decrease. There's got to be a way to increase it again. Wait, I have an idea. Remember, if you watch my show. You'll win one million dollars! Jax will not be honored. Ugh! Wait, I have another idea! Omelette du fromage! Omelette du fromage? Yeah, that only works when I say that! Omelette du fromage? That's all you can say! That's all you can say! That's all you can say! <laughs> Man, stupid Cartoon Network pre-lease allowed. Wait, I have another idea! Pants. You may remember me from the show of the same name and Camp Coral Spongebob's Under Years. Tonight's special guest stars are Jack Black and Kristen Skull. So let's... Well, it looks like we got our first caller. And I mean ever because this is not a call-in show. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, this is the mysterious Mr. Enter. Why do you get so many things wrong in your show since season 6 started? I mean, you have episodes where you get a splinter, one where you be an idiot when Gary has a new pet, and one where Plankton tried to commit suicide and crap's getting away with it. Not only that, I really hated your rating strap that involved you making an hour-long episode where everything that happens in the commercials is in a pointless flashback that has nothing to do with the plot. Uh, when are you ever gonna go back to making good episodes? No, you should stop with these the bad line. episodes, in. Ugh, finally! Anyway, Squidward, play me to the desk. Whatever. Please welcome my first guest, Jack Black. No, I said Jack Black, not Black Jack. Oh, sorry. Hey, how's it going? I'm Jack. Oh, hello. Welcome to my show, Mr. Black. <gasps> Spongebob? Is that really you? Yeah, it's me. Oh my god, it's definitely an honor to be in this show. My kids love your show. Wow, that's nice. Man, I bet my popularity will increase thanks to this show. It's especially an honor because it's definitely the least I can do after you shave me from that avalanche in the Himalayas. No big. So let me get this straight. You were a record employee, a caveman, a shark, a panda, a rock musician, and you were with the rock in a video game jungle? That's right. Well then, is it okay if you can watch one of your movies? Oh, sure, but just a little clip. Oh, no. Oh, man! I totally forgot to bring a movie! This is embarrassing. Eh, that's okay. Because at least there's no trouble that lies- Hey, what are you doing using Bethany without her permission? Um... You're welcome. Ah, they're gonna check my butt! Oh my god, when are you gonna learn your lesson? Ah, what a nice day. Cut him! Okay, I think I'll be safe in the loud house. Hopefully. Huh? Intruder alert! Red fire from the base! No, wait! I'm not a spy! I'm Spongebob! Yeah, that's the only one 
hurts when I do that. Dang it. <laughs> that was my first car. And my dad's first car. And his dad's first car. <laughs> Kids, why don't we just tell you stupid, good-for-nothing, brainless idiots about playing that stupid game? That's it. I've had enough of all of you. It's time for a huge punishment you'll never forget. Ugh, let me guess. A concussion from that mystery guy? Better! This week on an all-new Whitney. No! Zombies. You say they're eating our brains. They need to be eating U.S. beef. It's good for them. Okay. They'll like it. Wow, those loud siblings are savage. If they were on the red team, they would have helped me. But anyway, let's get back to the show. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, Sherry, your show's been canceled. We represent the estate of Mr. Tad Gosal, and we want to stop this unauthorized imitation. Also, we took care of Kristen's skull for you. Well, that show was a bad idea in the first place. Who am I kidding? It's impossible to make a cartoon even more popular than a cat and mouse fighting. Huh? You're under arrest. No, I'm Epilogue. Yes, yes! The show is mine! Welcome to the Irate Gamer Talks. Anyway, tonight's special guest stars are... Oh hey, I got a caller. Funny, because this isn't a call-in show. Hello, you're on the air. When are you ever going to come up with something original in your videos? Ugh, omelette du fromage. That's all you can say! That's all you can say! That's all you can say! Amazing! Look at how that frog is jumping. He's so... jumpy. I think they are probably one of the best jumpers of all the amphibians combined. If there was an amphibian jumping contest, Jumpy would totally win. Jumpy? You named him already? Yeah, it feels like I needed Van Halen music. According to the Wikipedia article on frogs, there are tremendous differences between species and jumping capability. Within a species, jump distance increases with increasing sizes, but relative jumping distance decreases. So, every time a frog jumps, it increases? Yeah! That's so weird. Cool, but weird. Um, Jimmy said that. Wait a minute, Martin. I just noticed something. What is it, Chris? According to the Wikipedia article again, its lungs are similar to those of humans, but the chest muscles are not involved in respiration, and no ribs or diaphragm exist to help move air in and out. Instead, it puffs out its throat and draws air in through the nostrils, which in many species can then be closed by valves. When the floor of the mouth is compressed, air is forced into the lungs. Wait a second. Frogs have the same lungs as humans? That must mean... <gasps> oh my god! Humans evolved from frogs! Well, in this universe, that is obviously, it's already been confirmed that we evolved from monkeys in real life. Yeah, that is true. So, the question is, do frogs really talk instead of just jump? We'll find out in this parody of Wild Kratz. Aviva, come in. What is it, Chris? Are you working on your experiment for talking frogs? Actually, it's almost finished. There are a few bugs, but let's see if it works. Okay, frog, jump! Great, now rip it! <laughs> Alright, now advertise! Bob wise her. Excellente! Now sing! Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my ragtime gal! Hey, hey what are you doing, Aviva? <laughs> frog, scare Jimmy! That's nice. Why don't you come to the Tortuga so you can help me with the bugs? Great idea. We're coming. Hold on, Jumpy. Stay here. Don't move a muscle. <coughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Lloyd won his fly. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Mr. Jones? Ah! <laughs> Agents Fuller and Scully, FBI. We want you to come out of retirement. I'm sorry, but I just started my retirement. Just give me like six months or something. Oh. oh. Six months later. Okay, what do you want? We just got this videotape from Donald Trump. Watch. You have nice legs, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> you have nice pets. Oh, oops. <laughs> Wrong footage. I just had rumor that a bunch of Nazis are taking the Ark of the Covenant. I need some word or named Indiana Jones to take the Ark back and save the world. Also, please drill it me so this Biden dude can no longer be president. I'm sorry, you're telling me I gotta go all the way and find a huge Ark? Forget it, I'm too old for this. And besides, I'm just an archaeologist. You two are insane. Go get him, Han Solo! I can't believe I have to go to a country for your flat. Huh? Jones? Marion? Ma Marion, are you okay? Aren't you happy to see me again? My mom was killed last weekend. What happened? Car crash? Hit by an anvil? Trampled by a stampede by her uncle? Avalanche? Reason unknown. Oh, that's the same. She was my mentor anyway. So, I need your help. A bunch of Nazis are gonna take the Ark of the Covenant! You have got to help me. Please, Marion, for me. Hmm, not right now. I'm drunk. No, you're not. I'll come back tomorrow. Not anymore! I got your medallion! Ugh, what's next? The bar burning down? Ugh, spoke too soon. Man, it's so hot in here. Hey, I'm using that in a gunfight! Ugh, <laughs> never bring a knife to a gunfight. Hey, get him! Oh, that's 
a funny game to chase on. A small robot made it up. Please! I'd like to show you my little puppy. A little stone puppy. This belongs in a museum! Wait, no, that's just a stone puppy. Where is that stuff of raw? Aha! There it is! Now that... ...belongs in a museum. <laughs> he has the stuff of raw! Get him! <laughs> to announce that I am going to volunteer my services and I will cover for Indy and get the Ark. I mean, come on. I already blew up the Death Star with my eyes closed. <laughs> no problem. That was just a movie, dude. Alright, let's get this movie. Freeze! Enough with the freezes already. You made the Ark. Never. You're a terrible lucky just and also a terrible father. Hey, you're right. You know what? Screw this. I don't want the ark anymore. It's all yours. Hmm, that was easy. Wait for the beat. You gotta leave your name. You gotta leave your number. Wait for the beat. You gotta leave it at the beat. Oh, oops. Close and open it again. <laughs> Good news! I got the Ark! Huh? What are you talking about? I don't see anything. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Now all I need to do is get two of every animal! that special. Oh, okay. Well then, how about some Smash? That always cheers you up. Okay. Oh, not just Smash Bros. Just my own fun game called Super Waluigi Bros. What? <laughs> it would put the Smash Bros out of its orbit. And the best part, oh, the best part, 
the only character that's playable is me, Waluigi. <laughs> You've lost it. But seriously, Sakurai will love my game. Love, I tell you. Kilimanjaro. Time out! What the hell is that? Well, why are there suddenly random things popping up in the Segway? Kilimanjaro. Oh. Garbage day. The zombies. You say they're eating our brains. They need to be eating U.S. beef. It's good for them. Okay. They'll like it. Okay, film 101, guys. When you do a transition, you want something that actually... transitions. Not incredibly distracts from everything. You see, guys, when you do something this annoying and this distracting, it doesn't add to the style. It just takes away from the story. What little there is. I mean, if you're gonna go that far, why not just go all the way? Why don't you do this? Love, I tell you. Okay, I think Sakurai will reject Waluigi's game just because he's crazy and he's lost his mind. Ugh. Maybe some TV will cheer me up. <laughs> You're so fat and stupid! <laughs> oh. Tonight on Ion Springfield, the dwarves from Snow White, where are they now? But first, we get a special look at our newest space shooter game, Space Conqueror 4! Of course, games! If I make more games, everyone will respect me! <laughs> hey, everybody! What are you yes! What are you yes! 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 How did you- Oh, I guess they were just upset about me not paying them in WarioWare Gold. But hey, at least it's better than some of the previous videos and you see animations made right. At least mine was shorter than the actual movie. At least mine had some originality and didn't have jokes that were just so predictable. Get on with it. Yes! Get on with it! Oh, I'm enjoying this animation! Get on with it! Uh, You've seen the snake peek. Now let's take a look at our next story. There's been a toilet clogging at McDonald's, courtesy of the Hamburglar. So rebel one, chicken McRebel nuggets. <laughs> I'm telling Ronald. Of course, fast food restaurants. They make. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that earlier? <laughs> okay, so where can I go? Burger King? No, that king always creeped me out. KFC? No, another Nintendo character goes there. <gasps> oh, Wendy's, of course! Everybody goes to Wendy's! I'll get lots of money from this place! <laughs> How may I take your order? Actually, I'd like a job at your fascinating store, please. <laughs> oh my god, that's too much! <laughs> Welcome aboard. And now it's time for an interesting sport, and this week it's all in cricket, live from the Municipal Baths, Croydon. <laughs> oh, a cashier! I wanted to be the manager! Ah, uh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? This is Kep Rockman reporting again. There is yet another video game that was just released ten seconds ago. Behold! Wario's friends where? <laughs> I'm not dreaming, am I? No, of course not. Nobody's dreaming. Uh, I gotta put a stop to that game! <laughs> Alright, there you guys are. Aha! We found you! I heard about you, stupid game. So, I'm here to win, Master! Wario! What? I'm like two fromage! That's all you can say! That's all you can say! That's all you can say! 
You're lousy. And here we are, the Gravity Falls comic book store. Wow, look at all those comics! Yep, we got them all! Here's Rat Dude, Waterman, and Iron Man, because Disney owns Marvel. Oh, is that the girl with the lasso and the non-visible plane? Yes. Can I read it? Sure, but you're only gonna be there for a few minutes, because I have problems here. Hello, how would you like to read the unimaginable Mulk? Not today! <laughs> <laughs> Take this! Ah! Ow! Ah! All right, here we go. A few moments later. I'll get you next time, girl with the lasso and non-visible plane. The end. <gasps> Hello, what's this? Hello, are you a big fan of a girl with the lasso and the non-visible plane? Why, yes, yes I am. Then why don't you write yourself a little song and we'll make it the hit? Then you want your one will win. Take that, old man! Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm? It all started when we took a bus to a town called Gravity Falls. But then eventually we started singing songs and then became rock stars. The biggest in Oregon. With tons of screaming fans And now it's time to start a world tour So come and enjoy the band Gravity Falls with Tip and Mabel Show Gravity Falls with Tip and Mabel Show Gravity Falls with Tip and Mabel Show Anything is possible Gravity Falls with Tip and Mabel Show Gravity Falls with Tip and Mabel Show Gravity Falls with Tip and Mabel Show Anything is possible we just got in something weird And we are pop stars now, yeah! 
Ah, what a nice day for some Stan fee. Crackle Stan, guess what? <laughs> what is it, kid? Did you eat a croissant from the floor again? No, I found this ad from the comic book store. It tells you that if I write my own song, I send it to the band, the Grasshoppers, and it will be a hit song in the radio. Me and my brother will be pop stars or something like that. Look, kid, being a pop star is too much hard work. It's fun to sing songs, but you'd still be stuck here working for your Grunkle Stan. It's too bad you can't do it once and then move on. But Grunkle Stan, uh... Kid, why don't you just be a... No, I'm not going to be a one-hit wonder. Wendy wants to be one called Wend182. Well, guess what, Grunkle Stan? I am going to make the greatest pop song of all time, and it will be number one on the top ten. All right, but you better not make a whole plot reference from a famous cartoon to one of Disney's rivals. Okay, what should I start with? I know the title! <laughs> By Maple Pines. Hey, this is easy! Alright, here we go! Two hours later. Gee, this is harder than I thought! Man, I can't believe that weird Claudin tried to work at my restaurant. Oh, hey, Mabel, what's wrong? Wendy, I need some advice. I'm writing a song and I can't think of anything right. Besides your dream one-hit wonder, have you ever sung a song before? Um... Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to set the mood with a little song my father made. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night. I work all day. I'm sorry, Wendy, but this isn't music class, it's gym class! Ah! Wendy? Wendy? You okay? Ah! Time enough, I think, for a piece of wood. The lodge. <laughs> okay, Mabel. Think, 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 think! Come on! You stupid brain! Work! Oh, Mr. Khan? What's going on here? Ugh, Mabel's faking again. I hope she's not freaking about with cross person again. Oh, God. Mabel Pines, what are you freaking- Done! Stan, Seuss, I gotta go to the post office! I gotta mail in my masterpiece! And now, let's take a look at the state of play in the detective sketch. Ourself, me, to intralo my body. <laughs> <laughs> and the itty bitty spider went up with the spell again. I hate your life too. Hey guys, keep them coming. We've only got over 9,000 more songs left to do, okay? But they're all nursery rhymes. Humpty Dumpty this and the alphabet song that. It's driving us crazy. Well, maybe this one is something different. Let's see if this one is original. Let's see. This is my song by Mabel Pines. <laughs> Ugh, what's that stench? Oh, this one smells. Maybe this one won't be so bad. Yeah, what could it possibly do? Kill us? Alright, and the one, then the two, and the- They wanted you to have this. My song! Woohoo! Dipper Pines, are you ready to run? Did I mention that I glue paste my hair? My page name is Waddles, my brother's name's Dipper. My uncle is Stan, and my friend Susan Wendy. And my best friends are Kenny and Brenna. If you get them wrong, I'll take you down to my Red Point Hub! Mabel, my name is Mabel. My name is Mabel, and you will love me. Do, 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 baby, baby, baby. My name is Mabel, and you will love me. That was awesome! So, what do you think, Dad?
Skipper? Was it great? Or was it awesome? Huh. <sighs> oh, Dipper, it's okay. I understand if you don't like it. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Mabel, but I have to tell you the truth about this song. That was the best song I ever heard! Really? Yeah, everybody in Gravity Falls should hear this. Then let's go! <laughs> uh, you think we should sue them? Mm-hmm. I think we should. <laughs> Okay, so we can't go in the radio station after that incident we had yesterday. Well then, allow me! Thing from the sky! like Gravity Falls is throwing a party! Yeah, maybe if we turn it up a little more and sing it together, the fans will start coming to us! Great idea! Turn it up, Mabel. Mabel, Mabel, her name is Where is that awful song coming from? We're lost! We're no hoes behind this! To the radio station! Her name is Mabel, and you will love her! Would you like to hear that song again? I'm sorry, but who's responsible for this song? Us! Get them! Six nights ago, I will not leave and turn the lights on. Carry me in, keep your hands up. I will stand up and I will go on and eat with me. That's my new song called, uh... You know, that song actually wasn't bad. Yeah, Wendy, it's a good thing you got that terrible song out of her head. Oh, you mean Mabel's song? That song's my jam! Mabel, Mabel, my name is Mabel, huh? Wendy, looks like you haven't learned your lesson! Which means we're gonna be talking about dodgeball now! Oh, crap. <laughs> No, Mom. I'm trying to sleep. Okay, Mom. What is- HUH?! No way! This is amazing. I know just what I'm going to do to you. Okay, this may rip roll a bit. Come on, come on, don't break it! Ah! There we go. Scully, I heard a loud brick roll outside. Susan Tess was trying to teleport Wolf of Brimley again, right? Worse. Look at this. <coughs> it's on the island of Isla Nublar. Oh my god! Somebody actually managed to bring dinosaurs back to life without just going to bedrock and borrowing them? I'm afraid so, Scully. Pack your bags. We're going to Jurassic Park. <laughs> So you're all 
experts at dinosaurs, right? Of course, I'm a paleontologist. I know literally everything about dinosaurs. What's an allosaurus? Um. Ha! But why did you ask us that question? This is gonna be a normal Disneyland, like, or. Feast your eyes! Whoa! Is that you, Grandpa Longneck, though? This has got to be CGI. Oh, no, 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 no! There's no CGI this time, it's all real! Welcome to Jurassic Park. Um, what's that Brachiosaurus doing? Oh, stop that! <laughs> For over 165 million years, dinosaurs were nature's common enemy. They were strong, fast, and definitely more powerful than humans. <laughs> A man named John Alfred Hammond has just discovered a Brachiosaurus, which means that the meteor created a parallel dimension where only a few dinosaurs can thrive and dominate the world. The Earth is ours. But Hammond took a piece of the DNA, and thus Jurassic Park was born. Cool. Mr. Hammond? Well, who are you two? Agents Fuller and Scully, FBI. Let me guess, are the Nazis using the DNA to make bad dinosaurs? Actually, me and Mulder wanted to go visit this park since we're really interested in seeing dinosaurs. Okay, how would you like to see the Grand Tour? First, we're gonna see that documentary. Okay. 8.01 p.m. And here lies the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the Cretaceous time period. Lived about 68 million years ago. It's going to eat us. What are you talking about? T-Rexes are the king, because Rex means king. Besides, there's his carnivores, meat eaters. You all know what a carnivore is. Did you hear something? <laughs> We've seen enough Mulder. Let's go back to the HQ. Yeah, definitely. But we're telling you. NBC Animations is not the parody channel you think it is. Wait a minute, what is this? I bring you love. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, darn it. Foiled again. Uh-oh, we smell another cheap cartoon crossover. 
Yes, go, Nidorina, and fight him off. Oh no, Gengar and Dudu have no sense. Oh, beat him. Cross select another Pokemon. Go on, let's go. Oh, playing Pokemon as usual, I see. Yeah, maybe? Go fig. Daria Morgendorfer is a girl from Longdale, formerly Highland. Yeah, way to pull up what is obvious about him to narrator. Daria wants to become a Pokemon master, so she can- No I don't. I'm not a fan of old school games. The only old school game I actually beat was Disney's Aladdin for the sake of Genesis. What a loser! Alex, use Rock Slide! Jane, you too? What? Who does not like Pokemon, you? Ugh, when will everyone care about beef? Beef is good for you. And it's not as addictive as video games. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Good morning, class. What the? Okay, why are you all playing Pokemon? Get off the game or you're all call Coach Buzzcut! We're gonna be talking about unmentionable things. <laughs> Doria, shut up! Alright, class. Since you idiots are playing video games again, I am going to show you this movie about why playing video games is bad! Oh. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You may remember me from such video game documentaries as Why It's Not Called The Legend of Link and Why Pac-Man Is Fatter Than Wario. Tonight we're going to explain why video games affect our lives. Let's face it, we all love video games, but sometimes they become more addictive than drugs. I mean, what if you try to get a bad game like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES? Like, let's say you see a commercial for this game. E.T. Video Game? E.T. is the Atari video game cartridge you have to buy separately to play on the Atari video computer system. Your parents hook it up to the TV. It's the video game that lets you help E.T. get home. Bye, E.T. This is the Atari video computer system. E.T. and other video game cartridges are each sold separately. But you get something like that. You don't want that, right? I guess it's no wonder Atari had to bury all of them in the desert. Why doesn't everyone listen to this guy? I was thinking that if you play a game, you'll get sucked into it forever. Like this. Huh? Ah! What the? Where am I? Am I? In the game? I'm in the game? Oh no, this can't be happening! Uh, I hope other people don't deal with this. Hello, it's -a me, Mario! Oh, not again! Uh. Reboot will return after these messages. Hey! Are you fat, stupid, and ugly? Of course you are, you piece of sh. Wow, I've gotta get one of those. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Watch where you're going. Sorry about that. Well, you must be a girl named, um, Diarrhea. <laughs> it's Doria. Whatever. Sorry about that, but is there a way to get out of here? I'm not supposed to be here. Well, um. Ow! Oh, sorry about that, Diarrhea. <laughs> it's Doria! Well, Ash, you snooze, you lose, and you're behind right from the start. So, you decided to show up after all. Oh, hey there, you must be Professor Oak. Hi, it's Daria. Nice to see you, Daria. Oh good, he didn't misspell my name. I just hope you will become a Pocket Mon Master. Wait a sec, something about you doesn't seem quite right. No, 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 this is all wrong. Professor Oak doesn't say Pocketmon, he says Pokemon, like everyone! Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm having a little trouble with this character. Is he supposed to sound like a normal professor? I mean, come on, what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know, just get it right, and if you don't, I'll have Mark Chi on Aviva Corcovado. Okay, fine, I'll get it right! Turk 2. I just hope you will become a Pokemon Master. I'm sorry, but this is just a misunderstanding. You see, I'm from a show on MTV and I got sucked into the game. 
So, is there a way out of here? Well, there is one way to leave. Oh, no. Let me guess. Is it to win a Coliseum battle? Because I've seen that giant test episode. Um, yes. Oh! Well, it looks like it's squirrel time. Already taken by someone who is on time. Then Bulbasaur? Also taken by someone on time. Then Charmander, damn it! The early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the Pokemon. You know what, screw this, I'll just catch one myself. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I just want to win a Coliseum battle so I can leave. And by the way, is it okay if we can give beef to Pokemon? BEEF! Yes. We don't know what happens to Pokemon when you give them beef. It could be death instead of faint, it could crash the server, I don't know, something bad would happen. But we don't know yet, our calculators are still figuring that out. We're not ready to test that. Hmm, okay. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Don't forget to change your underwear every single day. Seriously, I'm glad other people don't deal with this. What in the hell? Where am I? <laughs> the general's been hit! Okay, so where can I find Pokemon? Pigeon is a flying Pokemon. Among all the flying Pokemon, it is the gentlest and easiest to capture. A perfect target for the beginning Pokemon trainer to test his Pokemon's skills. You mean Pigeon? Pigeon? No, it's a Pigeon. Pigeon? Whatever! Pokemon, go! Days. Oh, I thought that was a bit predictable. It's been done before. Yeah, we did it for Caesar's Christmas show. No, you didn't. You did Jack and the Beanstalk. Wait a second. What's this underwear doing here? Huh? You didn't say anything. <laughs> well, I hope this isn't foreshadowing a later video on NUC animations. Oh, oh this better not be another pigeon. pigeon. Shut the f- By the way, that's French for blueberry pancakes. I don't want to risk Dexter's sister popping up and annoying me. Wait a sec, another Pokemon's coming out? Quarry! Yeah. Oh, brother. I am a Platypus. I am an all new Pokemon from the 20th generation. Ugh. Give it up, Lokar. I know it's you. Lokar? Who's that? I'm Plyderby, and I'm the easiest to- There is no such thing as a Plyderby. Anyone who dare to act like that is just a stupid locust that was a former band leader. Alas and alack, I'm scheduled. You found me out. <laughs> you big lumpy lump. <laughs> Ugh, I don't understand why fans like to make Pokemon that don't exist on DeviantArt or YouTube. This is sick! Beef. It's what's for dinner. Is that a Pokemon? This is an extremely rare Pokemon called the Dragon. It appeared about 10,000 years ago until a massive extinction that wiped out the mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and woolly rhinos, and other Ice Age mammals caused many dragons to die out. Now only five are left on Earth. Whoa, that looks like a cool Pokemon. But let's see if I can catch it. Huh? Oh, uh, 
Bye, doggy. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs>
Okay, who left this bike here? <gasps> My bike! It was you all along! Whoa, what are you talking about? I was barely in this parody. After a while, Crocodile, you're going to jail! A bueno, adios, master. Well, looks like I was wrong. Yeah, we should fight again sometime. Oh, we will. One day. Well, it looks like it was unintended, but I'm a Pokemon Thursday! Yes! Huh? I give up. Pokemon are dumb. What a terrible way to end a series. Why couldn't it end with something like this? No class. I want you to meet another new student today. Now I have no idea who her name is because she keeps saying her name is Joan of Arc. That's because I am Joan of Arc. No you're not. This is what Joan of Arc looks like. You look like Kim Possible with a weird haircut. And besides, the real Joan of Arc was burned at the stake centuries ago! Well, I'm a teenage version of her, so... Can you just please? Ugh, whatever. Whoa, if you are Joan of Arc or not, you look amazing. Shall we go to the arcade after school today? Say what? Hey, that's my line. Not again! Now there's an ending for you. Romance laughter. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. The show's over. Get away from me, zip face. When the channel returns, it will be put out on Monday mornings as a test card and will be described by the Radio Times as a history of Irish agriculture. <laughs>